All right, and we're back. Hey, anybody who's still hanging around? Uh, coming back for a league now. Make sure we're live on the dashboard. Looks like we are. This is going to be Bug Energy. Uh, we uh, we just took Jessup's winning list, and we're just going to run it through a league. Uh, nothing fancy here. Uh, let's see how we go. Queue up for a game. Streamed a little while ago. Uh, ran some practice matches. Realized how much I hate playing against Red. Maybe we won't have an opponent yet. That would be a shame. Losing the die roll. Well, this hand looks uh, all right in the late game as long as we draw a blue source. We've got constrictor into cub, or cub into constrictor, I guess is more likely. Cub into constrictor. Uh, seems reasonable. We'll go for it. Look at this guy. What's up, Gene? skipped their turn. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll take a free turn. Not feeling this playlist. Let me tell you, I am going to have to build a playlist. Looks like we might be against a rug deck, maybe. That was pretty good. I'm going to use that next turn. Like, duh. So we'll end up playing our forest anyway. Ah, oh, dude, come on. I'm still recovering from the uh, worry all day. I'm worrying about all my friends back home. Makes for a very long work day when you're waiting for people to check in. Yeah, I'm using Nightbot's like pre pre built channel stream song list. Although I guess you can do requests, so uh, you got something on YouTube. Like, put it in the request queue. That would be... Oh, look at this. Am I going to get a Virtuoso? Or is he going to get six energy? Do I just want to snap this off? This hostage taker? A refiner into holding up the push. But I think we're just better off taking Taker, right? We force him to burn a turn to deal with it. it means he's not really advancing his board. He'll get three energy out of it if he can deal with the Taker. We don't care about that too much. And we're going to get in with Constrictor. So if he doesn't kill Hostage Taker, it still feels loud in my headphones. If he doesn't kill Hostage Taker, what do you get? An island? Um, we get Virtuoso, and then we get to start making our own flying uh, idiots. Now we go 
Rishkar and then tap my idiots to play Whirler. <laughs> didn't, even, didn't even want to play after that. Just, uh, just scoop them up move on. Alright. I'll deal with that. Rug energy. What's, uh, what's the haps against rug energy? This guy obviously seems good. Do we care about anything else? Callista seems meh. This is kind of a mid-rangey match, right? So we probably want... Frasca? I don't think there's too much we do to this deck. I think we're just going to trim a couple numbers, and if he's black, we probably want to contempt. Let's just, uh, let's do this. I don't think push is all that great in this matchup either. So let's go minus two defense, minus a push, minus a ballista, plus a god and some contempts and a Vraska. Yeah, well, let's do that. I'm not being racist. I'm just asking if he's doing the black stuff. The, uh, the god thing. I mean, you know. Is the audio better? Like, is the music not drowning out my voice now? still a bit loud. So what if we do... What if we do this? How about now? How about the music now? That should be better, I think. A little bit lighter. Up just a tad. All right, how about now? One of these days I'll get this perfect. I could probably also just adjust my mic up. Mic up at max. Is this good? Mic is nice and loud, very clear. All right. So it's just that the music drowns out everything a little bit. No, go down a bit. Gosh, Jane. Killing me. Mic is too high. Better? That should be better. This hand looks like the most beautiful keep I could keep, so I'm going to keep. How's that audio? Is that audio better? Music up a tad and the mic down. I 
I think every time I've drawn one of these, I ask myself why this is in the deck. I realize I'm not a pro, but I just don't get it. It just doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, defense just doesn't doesn't seem all that wonderful. So he did nothing on his turn? Like, what's he hoping to accomplish? Me and my handful of land is just gonna... Just gonna give you the business. Did he mulligan? I don't think he mulled. No, we both kept seven. He just didn't have a turn four? I mean, I didn't have a turn three, so I can't say too much. Five drop. Glory bringer. So, uh... This is where my defense is going to be good. Do I want to keep my glint sleeve? I think I do. Now I get a hostage taker or a dragon and hope he doesn't have another one? Or a Chandra? Ah, this feels like I'm already dead. Just ready to go full tilt when he uh, exerts his next glory bringer. He obviously kept four lands, a servant, and two glory bringers. I'm just, I'm waiting to be punished. It's gonna be ridiculous. I'm gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry, but it is going to be ridiculous. Hour of Glory. Same difference. Look at all these lands, though. I can play anything. <laughs> not a dragon. Definitely not a dragon. Not much better than a dragon for us. Yep, you, you did it. You... All right. I still think sideboarding was fun. Well, this seems pretty bad. Hostage taker would be a really nice draw. Scarab God's not a bad draw either. Seems like a good draw. bad that his, his removal spell was actual Hour of Glory, so I can't get my Hostage Taker back. That feels really bad. More, uh, more Whirlers. 
colors. So maybe he'll exert and kill something and then I can push off a whirler. That would be the best. I guess if he kills that, that's a bummer. But I would imagine he's going to kill this. Oh, no. We scared now? What are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're at three. So we're just like hoping he's not playing lightning strike, I guess, or something. Gears into a seven seven. <laughs> that didn't really happen, did it? That sounds horrifying. <laughs> um, we obviously have to block. Let's uh, let's just make a uh, a little twirlerino. All right, so. Do we make a zombie in our upkeep? If we do, it's going to be a siphoner. Gets us to 9 energy. Doesn't matter too much. Let's draw our card first. There's no way we're not drawing this card. Well, that seems, that seems pretty, uh, pretty above average. That also seems like a good card. Am I an idiot? Should I have played the Ballista first? I think I should have. Yeah, I'm just a I'm just an idiot.
If I could just control Z all of the things. Yep, you're uh, you're making birds. Not attacking. I think we win this by just uh, just doing the old drain. Good news is, I'm not dead. The bad news is that I'm not in a great position. That's what all the pros do, right? It's all just misclicks. Misclicks everywhere. Who do you want to kill? Ballista, man. That, that seems... That seems wrong. And then on our turn we win the game. I guess he has one blocker. Sure. Do this. Definitely don't need that guy. If we draw a fatal push, we win. Nope. I, I did. I drew I drew all the wrong cards. I'm horrible at this game. Didn't you see my misclick earlier? But I won the match, so that's all that matters. In we go. <laughs> it's totally my decision to draw the wrong card. Yeah, I agree. I would I would also have drawn a better card. Is this hand. This hand has push into constrictor into ballista and we just need like a lot of help. I'm a gambling man. Mono red. Couriered? No courier. Well, that's good. 
Ballista is probably one of the better cards against Red. Alright, time to draw a card that is a land. Land? Good enough, didn't specify. I am sure he has a shock for this as well. Perfectly fine with it. Super good at this game. Look at that. Called it. Called shot. Now he's going to play a Chandra and make me really sad. Oh, Hazaret. I am just going to pray that I can get land number four. Ho, 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 ho. Hostage taker on Hazaret coming up. Let's hope we uh, don't get lightning striked out. Chuck a card at me. Pew, 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 pew. We didn't come here to not block. You didn't want that, right? Yeah, I didn't think you wanted that. I wanted that. Just let me untap and cast this Hazaret. That's all I want right now. Come on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yeah. Mmm. Tasty, tasty Hazaret. I mean, we could cast our god. Clearly, it's better to cast Hazaret. Of course, we'll never get to attack or block, but that's okay. He just looks pretty. She. Is that a she? That's a she. It's not bad at all. What is there to gain life in this deck? Is there anything? I don't think so. Do I just like, am I just on a clock with ruins? I really should know the cards in my deck, right? That's like a requirement. Nothing, so we're just on a clock.
Now we hold up Blossoming Defense. Definitely not winning by just chucking at me. Thirteen, we've got eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We draw a spell we can cast next turn. Three, six, eight, nine, ten. Oh, no, we're fine. We're, we're good. Yes, I could have cast something to make Hazaret wake up. But why do that? All these things right here. Right, right there. These seem really bad here. So what's the worst card we can play? Rishkar? There we go. Seems fine. Let's do that. Yeah, Blossoming Defense feels really bad in this matchup. I don't know what the last cut is. I mean, I guess... I guess the Renegade seems fine, but... I, I mean, I don't know. I couldn't find a fourth Death Gorge Scavenger. Which was a real problem. Ah, oh, this, this Pools is so awkward. And draw another. This time we get to play Cub. And if he just kills it, then on turn three we can Death Gorge the Cub, gain two. And we're fine with it. Like we're still just trading card for card. Yes, it's it's dead. You did it. Still gaining two life. Next turn we can Ballista and hold up Push. Turn after we can Rishkar. Ugh. Well, I'm glad that's gone. Who needs a uh, Crasher? this the turn after. So do we play Rishkar? 
No, I, I think we still just jam the list on one. Hold up push. Mount. Glad you hit that. Ballista lives. I don't, I don't think we can let them have Chandra another turn, right? Like, they're already done to two cards. We have to get rid of the Chandra. So, like, this turn we can leave up... We can Contempt and then leave up Push still. And we can represent the defense he saw in game one. I mean... Like, we get punished if he draws exactly Hazaret and something else. Like, if he's got land Hazaret. But even then, we're still fine. The only advantage to attacking Chandra there would be to make him waste a removal. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. So if he just jams another dragon, that could be a problem. Then it's a race I am losing. Chandra's pretty good. But he has to kill Ballista this turn. So this ensures Chandra dies no matter whether he can kill either of these guys. Can kill Rishkar? Yeah. I mean, we're still winning this race. It doesn't feel great, but we are winning this race. sense in playing that.
Bats are really bad. Now we have to play this. We have to hope he exerts and doesn't draw a removal spell. So we need another brick. Need him to brick for another turn. Yeah. Maybe. And that would probably be the mistake I think I've made this game. Didn't matter. Yeah, it's it's pretty possible I should have just done it last turn. It only matters if he drew exactly shock this turn. He did. The abrade didn't matter. Like he he wasn't he doesn't have to exert if he draws the abrade anyway. He draws the abrade and abrades my siphoner instead of exerting. way better. Doesn't matter. It's going away. You think defense is good in this matchup? I'm not sure why. I mean, it's, it temporarily stops an Exert or a Chandra activation. I don't, I don't feel like that's enough to say that it's a good card for this matchup. Can you give me a reason why it, do you think it's good in this matchup? I, I honestly don't know.
Comcast has been acting up all day. <laughs> so I guess here's the problem. Right? Like, we play this hostage taker and it's just going to die. I guess this might be the one spot where defense would be great. But we wouldn't have drawn it anyway. If he doesn't have an abraid or a strike, then... We save ourselves a little damage. So I, uh, like, I, I get your reasoning. The problem is you're still just trading one for one, right? So like, I have to take out things that are also good in the matchup to keep blossoming defense in, and all blossoming defense is just a one for one. Like, what do you, what do you envision that you're siding out? Like, this is your list, right? So what is it that you side out? Sure, but you've got you've got two Rishkar. So you take out two Rishkar. There should be four Gorgers. So you're bringing in four Gorgers. Uh, this is the fourth Gorger. I'm pretty sure you're bringing in Contempts. What are your other four cuts? This is... Probably the worst creature after Rishkar, but you still need two drops to fight on the Axis. You definitely don't bring out Cub or Constrictor. Ballista is almost always a one for one and a blocker at the same time. Push is great. Refiner is a zero for one. God is one of the weaker cards. Taker is one of the weaker cards. But, like, you need answers to. Um. Just three blossoming defense. You're bringing in six cards. Right, you're bringing in four gorgers, two contempts. You can't just remove one defense and two rish cards and say that's it. We're done. Well, I get that it's not great, but you still need to try to have answers. You can't just give up on the Hazarets. I mean, I may be completely misunderstanding the matchup, but like, look where we're at right now. He can make this unblockable and pump it, and that's our biggest problem right now. I think that's my whole problem with this deck. Like that's that's one of the reasons we discarded the idea of playing this deck is that it's so hard to catch up in this matchup in particular. Like what do you do in this matchup? No matter what I do, I'm taking 3 a turn. I don't know how he swam through a field of red decks. I don't know if there's anything we do here.
I just dead here? Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I I don't know how he beats that matchup. I mean, I'm I'm really struggling with the tools he has in his deck to try to beat that matchup. It doesn't make any sense to me. So like maybe this is the plan here. You bring in these five for this, and if you have the sixth card, the extra death gorge scrounger, you take out like a hostage taker. You take out these six for four scavengers, two contempts. Alright, I'll try that next time I hit this matchup. We'll see what happens. It's interesting. I, I, I'm really not sure how to approach that matchup. I don't know what the answer is. I'm curious. That's alright, though. Music's getting to me. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna switch. How about, uh, how about some 8-bit music? We'll play some chip tunes with commercials off of Spotify. I don't think we run out the siphoner when he's representing a removal spell.
What is this? Sonic? It's the Sonics. So we're going to end up ramping him. After they play their uh, turn four Raptor. You got a ramp spell. Good job, you. Yours was rampant growth, gain three life, and mine was energy draw card. Yeah. Creatures with spell abilities are weird. So now we just go Cub Siphoner, right? If he's silly enough to attack into Cub... Then he loses his Raptor. And if he kills Cub in advance, we kill Raptor with Push. And if he doesn't do anything... We can Hostage Taker it? All of these things seem okay. Sure, it's a Ronus. It's a hostage taker target.
so next turn we get to Hostage Taker and take Ronus. That seems pretty decent. Excuse me, and play Ronus. As long as he doesn't kill Taker with it on the stack. Raptor number 14. Sure. This is Castlevania. Seems pretty like an uh, like an overwhelming advantage here, right? Yeah. Okay, so dinosaurs and grinding. What's bad here? The list does seem underwhelming. Never really getting through with the early damage. I'll try that. I don't know if that's right. That doesn't seem very right either. I probably should have just brought out a third, ugh, third ballista instead of the cub. At least the cub can get big enough to fight with the dinosaurs. Well, this hand kind of does things. Good 
old Spotify commercials. Commercials are horrible. So we've already got a contempt lined up for Aronis. That's uh, that's pretty good. Should this one have been Cub? Hmm. Opponents just over there not doing things. Incoming dragon. Oh, well, that's not that's not bad. I can contempt the raptor and just leave him behind. Well, it's probably not worth it. I think what might actually be worth it is just chumping Ronus with refiner. Then we can push out the ripjaw raptor. Because they just like have a handful of counter spells. Okay. Here comes the negate.
Sir Scarabsworth. That seems like a good card. old Green Hill Zone. Three, four, one, two, three. Yep, that's a refiner. So I can block, push, this is a 7, 8, 9, 10, you'd have to have exactly shock or magma spray in hand. This is seven, eight, nine, ten. Where do we lose here? So we can either go for the win, and if he has shock, we'll lose. We don't lose. We just go to a much worse spot. I'm going to play a little bit safe.
Oh, and then I tapped wrong. Seven, So could have been more aggressive, could have just gone for the win by just fully going on Ballista. No regrets. Raptor does nothing. doesn't do anything either. Do you have a second one? No? Okay, so he's just dead. One, two matches to go. Well, this hand looks thoroughly reasonable, and I'm happy to have it. Until I just don't draw the uh, third land, and, and then I cry. If we draw that untapped land, that Rish car is going to be really good. Mono forests, mono servants. We just jam, right? Slithery snakes coming at you. No blocks. Hmm. 
Okay. Adam. All right, so what do we do here? This doesn't seem very good. We're probably the control deck. I like these guys. I don't like these things. These are very great here. Do we bring in like some number of counter spells to counter the trample things? That's all we really care about in this matchup, right? Is the trample things. Yeah, we'll try it with this configuration and see what happens. Chat got super quiet. Well, this hand doesn't do a whole lot except throw things in the way, but it's probably as reasonable as I can start with. Everybody you know safe, nobody uh, nobody had any problems. That's way too many.
Yeah, I saw there were a bunch of uh, fake reports. My opponent does not seem very happy about his life. Apparently he was all in on that one ballista. This is why people don't play that deck. Well, we've broken even in this league. Now let's try to get ahead. Last round. 3-1. Seems okay. Are there any repeatable good sources of life gain in these colors? Like the only one that's coming to mind is Aetherborn, Gifted Aetherborn. I don't know how else the mono red matchup works. Well, that was a pretty good draw. for trade probably not never hurts to ask wow <laughs> I did not expect that trade Ooh, the name of this song is Dat Egg, though.
Really shouldn't be playing pre-combat. Just completely in. Let's play like an idiot mode. The art on these cards is so great. It's like got a viney thingamajig. Got to get our F6 value in. I mean, I could turn it back on. It's just that there's, you know, other stuff. Untapped land would be kind of nice. I don't know why he chose to abrade there. It doesn't make any sense. Take a hostage taker or a refiner.
feels bad to burn a push, but we're going to end up being very behind if we don't start drawing. <laughs> if we don't start drawing non-land cards, sure would be nice. All the lands. Just all the lands. Well, we got the late game covered. And really, that's what matters, right? Commercials. Our opponent's on the 61 card special after sideboard. All the attunes. Attunes everywhere. It's kind of great that she kills things and generates treasure. What a great pirate. Dead Cup. Scarab God? Would you like to lightning my Scarab God?
Are you going to play your own? Oh, that's sad. Did you see the Vraska? So we just take this up, right? There's no reason to take this down yet. I like how people are playing this card now. It's pretty great. <laughs> Console flagship. Alright. It does say target artifact. I agree. My opponent is adorable. Yeah, we're clearly blocking. Gonna kill this guy too. That's a pretty good one. Can I draw a non-land? Just once. <laughs> mm. did get what I asked for. That's pretty clear.
I am not good enough to draw that well. No surprise there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think with that, I'm done. Maybe I'll play some Overwatch. That sounds like a thing I should do. Let's, uh, let's give these cards back to Mana Traders. Which is an amazing service if you guys haven't uh, used it before. Absolutely amazing. I was going to stream with Blue Eyed Approach too. I just don't know if I feel like bashing my head against the wall with it tonight, to be quite honest. Uh, let's take a look at what we've got. Yeah, so. Um, at this point, like, I'm, I'm just renting the expensive stuff. <laughs> uh, I think, I think tomorrow night I will probably play Blue White Approach. Um, Jim Davis's list, this list cracks me up a little bit. I'm not sure that Approach wants Opt. It's kind of nice that it can dig, but I don't think it wants it. Um, I don't know. I'd like to play around with it or two. Let's see how much of it we can rent. Give me one second here. Let me rent the deck out. They have 57 out of 59. What are we missing? It's going to be Fumigates. No. I don't know. Let's see what's missing. Yeah, I am not sure which list is better. Um, so, Mana Traders is kind of nice. Um, you get a little dashboard screen over here. They tell you what you've got. I've got quite a bit of hours left. 
Uh, so you pop over to the build deck screen and um, I always export a wish list. So you saw me a little bit earlier go in here and do add to wish list, all these things, and then I export the wish list. And then when you're on their main site, you just upload the deck. So here's my wish list. And they have, you know, what they have, they show you. Looks like it's a rivulet and something else. I'm pretty sure he played four in the list. Nope, only three. I don't know. Anyway, after you rent, um, you get a nice little page that tells you where to go. So I have to do it on the dashboard right now because I've already, I've already rented them, but it tells you down here. Here's are all the bots with all of your cards. Looks like four and six have the bulk of them. So we'll pop over here to trade with four. So we're renting 59 of the 75 for this. I'm just going to grab everything. Magic Online trading could be a lot better. If only you could just, you know, right click, move all, but it doesn't work that way. There's 55 of the 60. That's not too bad. So I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff, and then as you grab things off the bots, uh, it tells you these are the bots you need to look for to grab the last bits of cards. So either three, f six, or five have the rest. So my cap with mana traders is uh, 335. This time around it looks like we rented 129. Quite a bit of room still. So now we just have to look at what's missing. Split cards never work. Ever. Ever in the history of Magic Online. Uh, these we can update the versions we have. So we're going to be missing the farm to market. That's because of the rental interface, or the uh, Magic Online interface. When you get a deck, um, and you download it from Magic Online, split cards only have half of the card. So even though the card's card farm to market, when you do an MTGO export, it doesn't come across as farm to market, it just comes across as the first half, which is farm. Which is silly. It makes no sense. Yeah, good old Moto. So here we go, we've got our 60. Update the stream title. 